And standing by live at the Cape, Jane Pauley. Jane, does all continue to go well? Sure does. The Columbia is now officially a spaceship, Bryant. It is uh, in orbit, 185 miles up, 160 nautical miles. If that's, I think that'd be important to you. They have, um, after a perfect launch, had their first failure. They lost one, in effect, as a television tube, a cathode ray tube. Say it will be a bit of a nuisance, but certainly not a problem. A little bit later in the uh, uh, re-entry, it could be significant. But for now, no problem, all's well. All right, Jane. We like it that way. We'll be getting back to you. For right now, we'll take a station break. Another expert on space, genuinely, Mr. James Michener, who researches his books perhaps more than anybody alive, and he currently has a book out on space. It's a novel, but it absolutely chronicles the history of space exploration in so many different ways, and that's why it's a particular pleasure to have James Michener with us. James, this morning, we stood elbow to elbow. It was your first shuttle launch. Describe it, would you please? What were you feeling? Well, it seems prophetic that uh, we should be moving into a new era in uh, American space program with the shuttle on today when so much is happening in the world. It sort of reminds us that, that that's what it's all about, that... Uh, we are taking space into whole new dimensions, just as the Russian government this morning is taking itself into whole new dimensions. Uh, I am so impressed as I grow older that we live in a world of constant change. You know, uh, this program isn't going to be the same three years from now. You're not going to be the same. Uh, the, the money system in the United States isn't going to be. The whole cockeyed thing is going to change. And this morning was the most dramatic evidence of that. How would you describe the likes of this man sitting between us, Gene Cernan, and his colleagues, the earlier astronauts, and the astronauts who are today up there in space, and all of their colleagues? I have been uh, working with uh, uh, quite a few of the astronauts of the early group, Gene, your colleagues, and I am impressed with how well they use the English language. These are bright people. <laughs> I mean, they're not dodos. They're, they, they know what a sentence is. They, they know how to express themselves. They, they use uh, beautiful idioms. We uh, use all of it, certainly. <laughs> you really do. And, and I think that's maybe the, the biggest surprise I've had, that these are just not engineers or, or scientists or, uh, or uh, aviators. How is it, how important is it for them, the Cernans and others, to express to all of us something either philosophical or comprehensive about this experience and how it's affected them? I, I think uh, Gene personally is uh, obligated uh, to put his thoughts into print uh, because he is a, is a philosophical engineer. He's a graduate of Purdue, I believe, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, with a very high degree. He's had experiences that you and I will never have, uh, David. And, and, and uh, I think that it's just as if we had the first lieutenant of Christopher Columbus around. We might say, you know, Jose, put it down because the world is going to want to know about this. And uh, uh, Collins wrote a beautiful book. Uh, Mattingly is brilliantly uh, able to express himself. Uh, Stafford is, is on the ball. I would hope that out of this group, uh, some one of them would write of their great experiences and uh, what it meant. I say that at the end of uh, four years of trying to understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> Mr. Michener, thank you. And more with Gene Stern and later. We'll be back. Okay. Morning. It was overwhelming. It was magnificent. The day was perfect. Down here on the coast, on eastern Florida, as we watch the Space Shuttle Columbia go up for the fifth time, all is well. Uh, the four astronauts uh, in the Shuttle Columbia now about beginning their second orbit. And all is going very well. Gene Cernan is with us uh, for Good Morning America this morning, the former astronaut. We'll talk with him a little bit later. Uh, also.